types of matrices. So we'll be discussing row matrices, column matrices, diagonal matrices, scalar matrices, and identity matrices. So what are row matrices and column matrices? So simply a row matrix is a matrix that has one single row. It can have more than one column. We're not really concerned with that. It must just have one row for it to be a row matrix. An example of a row matrix would be this matrix here. It has one column, sorry, it has one row, but it has two columns. And we're not concerned with the number of columns. It has one row and that's all it really needs for it to be a row matrix. And let's say this matrix here. It has one row and it has four columns. We're not concerned with the number of columns. It has one row and hence it is a row matrix. And the order of a row matrix is basically a one by n matrix. So basically one row and n columns. A column matrix is simply the opposite of a row matrix. It must have one column and that's all it really needs. It can have more than one rows. We're not concerned with that. And we just need one column. An example of a column matrix would be this matrix here. It has two rows and it has one column. Again, we're not concerned with the number of rows. It has one column and that's all it really needs for it to be a column matrix. The order of a column matrix is basically an M by one matrix. So basically N num M number of rows and one column. Now, what is a diagonal matrix? Now, a diagonal matrix has two requirements. One, it must be a square matrix. So basically an M cross M matrix, M number of rows and M number of columns. They must be equal. And the second requirement is that the prince elements outside of the principal diagonal must be zero. So let's see what that means. You see this matrix here. The elements inside this rectangle make up the principal diagonal. Every element outside of the principal diagonal is zero. And hence this is a diagonal matrix. Now, an example of a two by two diagonal matrix would be something like this. These two elements, they make up the principal diagonal. The elements outside the principal diagonal are both zero. So this is a diagonal matrix. This is a three by three diagonal matrix. These elements make up the principal diagonal. Every element outside of the principal diagonal is, that's right, zero. So this is also a diagonal matrix. See this matrix here. These elements make up the principal diagonal. Now, even though the principal diagonal itself has a zero in it, we're not really concerned with that. The principal diagonal can have whatever elements it wants. It can have zeros, non-zeros, non-digits even. But every element outside of the principal diagonal must be zero. And hence, this is also a principal diagonal. It is also a diagonal matrix. Now, what is a scalar matrix? A scalar matrix is basically a type of diagonal matrix. So that is the first requirement. It is a diagonal matrix and every element inside of the principal diagonal, so the diagonal elements, must be equal or same. So uh, this something like this here. This is the principal diagonal. Every element outside the principal diagonal is zero. So this is a diagonal matrix for one. And the elements inside the principal diagonal are e both equal to A. So this is a scalar matrix. See this here. The elements outside the principal diagonal are both zero. And the elements inside the principal diagonal are equal and they're equal to 2. So this is also a scalar matrix. Over here, the elements inside the principal diagonal are equal to 5. And every element outside the principal diagonal is 0. So this is also a scalar matrix. Now an identity matrix is a type of scalar matrix in which the, in which the diagonal elements are equal to 1. 
So a two by two identity matrix will look something like this. See these elements, they make up the principal diagonal. The elements outside the principal diagonal are zero. The elements inside the principal diagonal are both equal and they're equal to one. So this is an identity matrix. This is a three by three identity matrix. Every element outside the principal diagonal is zero. So it is a diagonal matrix for one. Every element inside the principal diagonal is, is equal. So this is a scalar matrix as well. And they're equal to one. So this is an identity matrix.